product demonstration video for CPR products polyurethane 700. 700 is a low viscosity water activated injection foam to seal concrete cracks like this. And here we find a vertical crack that is thin. It starts out a little wider and becomes hairline at the bottom and it has leaked in the past. We want to make sure that the crack is currently dry, that the area is clean and there's no paint or foreign material on the wall. So we're going to start by placing some protective material on the floor. I'm going to use a trash bag here today, and then we're going to make sure that we have a safe area, which includes our safety goggles, gloves, a long sleeve shirt, and now we can start preparing the crack. Now we're going to start by actually preparing the wall by cleaning it with a wire brush. We're going to take an area about three inches wide, centered on the crack, and we're going to clean it so that there's no debris or other material that would stop the paste epoxy from adhering to the wall. So you can clean the dust with a brush or, I prefer, a vacuum that will suck the dust out and give you a nice clean surface. <laughs> Due to the narrow size of this crack, we're going to use 700, which is a very low viscosity, flexible urethane foam. So now that we've prepared our wall and selected the 700 urethane to use, we can start by measuring six inch distances to place our ports centered over the cracks, and we can start to mix our 602 paste epoxy, which when mixed will be the glue that holds these to the wall. We like to use a six inch distance in between ports so that we create a tight, dense foam when the urethane is injected. So now we're going to get the 602 epoxy paste and start to mix it up. And you can use anything as simple as a piece of cardboard. So now we're going to mix the paste and all we need is a small batch, enough to put the ports onto the wall. So now that we've got the epoxy paste mixed to an even color, we're going to apply some to the bottom of the plastic ports so that they'll stick to the wall, but not so much that it gets inside the port and keeps the urethane from being injected. So now we're going to start to apply the epoxy paste over the crack from top to the bottom, about three inches centered on the crack. And this will be about an eighth of an inch thick. So now we're going to mix a larger batch of the 602 epoxy paste so that we can seal over the crack and to seal all of the ports on the wall. So now we've got epoxy paste on, we're going to use surface slick. This is a tooling agent for surface sealers to leave a nice smooth surface on our work. So after the epoxy paste dries, we'll be doing our injecting. At that time, after you inject, you'll be putting a cap inside the port. I find it easy to put a little bit of epoxy paste on the cap, put it on top of the port, so that when you need it, it's in the right place. The epoxy paste usually takes about 40 minutes to dry, but we can test to see how it's doing by using a thumbnail or a trowel, sticking it in, seeing if it leaves a mark or not. This left a little mark, so we have to wait a little bit longer. Okay. Now that the epoxy paste is almost dry, we're going to start to prepare the 700 polyurethane. We're going to take off the cap. We're actually going to cut it in half and use the half to cover up this side, which has the polyurethane in it. This side is empty, and we're going to put water in there. So 
and that is the activator. Okay, now the 602 epoxy paste is cured and ready for us to inject. So we're gonna take the dual cartridge that we have prepared, put it in the gun, and then purge out a little bit out of the top. Okay, and now we're gonna start injecting. We're gonna slowly and steadily use our pressure to inject the material in, and we're going to wait till it comes out, the one above it. There we go. Take the nozzle out, replace the cap, and go to the next one. And we're going to repeat this process all the way up to the top. And we have another dual cartridge ready in case we run out as we go up the wall. Okay, now we're going to inject in the top port until we see it coming out of the top, and you can see it right there. That means that we've got the wall injected from the bottom all the way up to the top of the sill plate. So we used the trash bag that we had to protect the floor to use to put all our debris in. We injected this crack from the bottom port all the way up to the top, and we saw it come out that little half-inch window that we had left. This crack will never leak. Thanks for watching this product demo video for polyurethane 700 from CPR Products.